I am obsessed with this weapon and I have to tell you about it. How's it going everyone? I'm Tavius Place, thanks so much for stopping by. So, Agar Scepter, the new exotic trace rifle for Season of the Lost has won my heart. And for this video we're going over a super fun and effective PvE Stasis Titan build. I have a Warlock build already up in my channel for all my Warlock mains, but Titans can also have a blast and do tons of damage with this weapon. Before we start, if you find this informative, remember to help the channel with the like and heavy attack on the subscribe button so this video gets pushed to other Destiny players like you. Now let's begin. First, let's start with the Behemoth Titan Stasis subclass and the aspects and fragments I recommend using to complement our Augur Scepter. For my aspects, we'll be using the Diamond Lance, shatter or defeat targets with stasis abilities to create a stasis lance. You can throw the lance to freeze targets on impact with the right trigger or slam the lance on the ground to freeze targets in a small area with the right bumper. Now keep in mind that a lot of times getting a lance kill will spawn another lance, so this is very helpful. For my second aspect, I'm using the Tectonic Harvest. Shattering a Stasis Crystal creates a Stasis Shard. This shard grants melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. Stasis Shards are gonna be essential later in the video. Now for my fragments, I've equipped the Whisper of Bonds. Defeating frozen targets grants super energy. This one comes with a penalty of minus 10 to grenade and super, but it's well worth the penalty. The second fragment is the Whisper of Rending. Kinetic weapons do increased damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. Agar Scepter is a kinetic weapon, so with these two fragments, we'll do increased damage to frozen targets and get super energy by defeating them. So good! Oh, and remember, defeating frozen targets will spawn our Diamond Lance, so you can freeze more targets. It's a never-ending loop of ice and awesomeness. Okay, back to the fragments. The last fragment I've equipped is the Whisper of Fissures, which increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. So this one will give us more damage and area of effect when you shatter a frozen target or crystal. I'm going to be using the Glacier Grenade because this grenade will spawn stasis shards when you shatter it, which will turn into super energy later in the video. We're also going to be using the Tower and Barricade. I wanted to use the Rally Barricade to get all the weapon buffs, but in high level PvE activities you really need the protection of a bigger barricade to stay alive in tough encounters. Now the Behemoth melee ability is called Shiver and Strike, and it pairs really well with our exotic armor piece. Let's jump into the armor. For my exotic armor piece, I'm going with the Synthoseps Arms. This exotic has been in the game since Vanilla Destiny 2 and can be acquired from any exotic drop or purchased from Zur on rotation. This is a very common exotic, so most of you titans probably already have it. The exotic perk on these arms is called Biotic Enhancements. Increase melee launch range. Also, improve melee and super damage when you're surrounded even if the enemies are all frozen. The Behemoth melee ability Shiver and Strike launches you forward and with this exotic it launches you even further and increases damage. We are going to be freezing a lot of targets and being able to shatter them with our melee ability is going to be super useful in creating a stasis lance constantly. Moving on, but before we jump into the armor mods, I'm going to give you a quick recap on Agar Scepter in case you're new to the game, you barely got the weapon or not sure how this weapon works. Agar Scepter is a kinetic stasis trace rifle. Getting kills with the weapon generate a slow and freezing burst around the target, freezing other targets nearby. Getting kills also reload the magazine from reserves, and the catalyst allows this weapon to drain your super energy when it's full, to supercharge this weapon and do tons of damage until your super runs out or you run out of ammo. As you can see, a lot of freezing and shattering will be happening. Let's check our armor mods because we got some new mods this season with the Stasis Affinity armor. On my helmet I have an intellect mod, trace rifle ammo finder which increases your chance of finding special ammo while you have a trace rifle equipped. But what a lot of us miss on this mod is the bottom part. Kinetic weapon, especially exotic weapons, final blows help you find ammo more quickly. This is super important and a lot of people don't realize this is part of the mod. We will be using Agar Scepter almost 100% of the time so we'll constantly have special ammo for it. And then I have Elemental Armaments, which grants me a chance at Stasis Elemental Wells by getting kills with Dagger Scepter. Remember that picking up Stasis Wells give energy to all my abilities. Moving on to my Exotic Arms, I have a Strength mod for melee. Then I have the new mod this season, Melee Kickstart. When your melee energy is fully expended, you gain melee energy. 
I tested this and it gives about a 10 second head start on your melee. Stasis abilities have longer cooldowns as it's specified when you go over your stats, so having your melee 10 seconds faster is definitely nice. Next, I have an auto rifle anti barrier for champions, which is not really essential since Agar Scepter can melt champions, but I had a point to use. And last, we have another new mod, and this is a game changer Elemental Shards. All the stasis shards we will generate by shattering crystals will actually act like elemental wells. So one more thing to look for since they will replenish all your abilities plus give you super energy. I will explain in a second once I get to the class item. On my chest piece I have intellect, trace rifle reserves and elemental armaments. You might ask, are you stacking the elemental armaments mod? I already had it on my helmet and now on my chest. Well, on my legs I have the new mod Bountiful Wells from the Wayfinder's Compass. Elemental well mods that cause you to spawn elemental wells can now stack, spawning additional wells for each additional copy of the mod you have equipped. During my testing I found out that this build with the Bountiful Wells mod and two elemental armament mods spawned three elemental wells from one enemy defeated, super useful to get our abilities in super back. I also have a Trace Rifle Scavenger and a Strength mod. Lastly, on my class item, I have Intellect and that one mod from the Seasonal Artifact, Well of Potency. Picking up matching elemental wells grants you super energy. So now you see that Orbs of Power, Elemental Wells and Stasis Shards will grant you super energy, which you can decide to power up your Agar Scepter with or use your Glacial Quake super ability. The choice is yours. But honestly, the only reason why I wouldn't power up Agar Scepter over the Glacial Quake super is if I don't have a lot of ammo for Agar Scepter. So keep an eye on your ammo before you activate Will Given Form. Now before I give you a quick summary of everything I just said, let's touch on weapons and stats really quick. For your energy and heavy weapon, you really can use whatever you like. I've been using an auto rifle, the Arc Logic from the Moon, with the anti barrier mod in case I run into barrier champions and also been using the Ascendancy Ritual Rocket Launcher, but it's really up to your preference. And on my stats, there is really nothing special. We will be spawning tons of orbs, wells, and shards, that our stats won't matter much. But I have my grenade at tier 4 with a minute 50 second cooldown, my super at tier 7 with 4 minutes 24 seconds, and melee at tier 6 with 51 seconds. Here we are, it's time for the rapid fire recap, this is how it works. Your Agar Scepter will do most of the work, and you will very rarely run out of ammo. You will freeze and shatter, throw grenades and punch constantly. This will spawn the Diamond Lance, plus Orbs of Power, Elemental Wells and Stasis Shards. Pick up the Diamond Lance and throw it at a horde of enemies for a chance of another lance spawning. Your Whisper of Bonds will give you super energy by defeating frozen targets, which also extend the super mode on Agar Scepter. Whisper of Rending gives Agar Scepter extra damage against frozen targets, and the Whisper of Fissures increases the damage and size of the burst when you shatter an enemy or a crystal. Remember also that activating your super gives extra damage to your melee when you're surrounded with our exotic arms, and shattering the crystals you create with the Glacial Quake super spawn lots of stasis shards, but also, there is a cooldown of 5 seconds when you pick up stasis shards before it gives you more super energy. You can't just go and pick up 15 stasis shards right away and fill your super back up, which would be nice, but I mean, you know Bungie. And there it is guys, a super fun stasis titan build that is all about Agar Scepter and Diamond Lance with punches, and also super if you so desire. I really hope you found this informative, if you did, a like and heavy attack on that subscribe button is greatly appreciated. Also do me a favor and hit that bell to get notified when I post a new video. My name is Tavius Plays and you can find all my social media on my link tree down in the description if you'd like to contact me. I hope you all have a great week and if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos you can click right here.